everyone, it's Michelle here, and I'm going to sh give you a really quick tutorial on how to cut the pattern papers for the front of the drawers on the advent calendar that I have over on a blog named Hero today. So this is the Laurie Whitlock file that I used. It's the one drawer box. I just typed it into the search box, and it popped up the boxes. Um, when I open the file, this is the original size of Laurie's file. And if you click on it and you move it to the darker lines, you can see that Laurie's original file is two inches in width by two inches in height. I wanted my boxes a little bit smaller. So I went ahead and resized them. And my box is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And this is the outside of the box. This is the inside of the box. This box needs to be just a hair smaller than the outside box so that the draw will fit inside the exterior box. So we're just going to be working with the interior box today. So I'm going to take the exterior box off of the screen. I'm just going to take it off the screen. Okay. So in order to work with this box, we want to be able to see what we're doing. So. I I am going to go in and up here where all these colored lines are, I'm going to click on this and change the color of this box to black. And I'm going to make the lines a little bit thicker for the purpose of the video only. You just bring the slider up and it changes the thickness of the box. So this is the front panel, this little dotted line square with the circle in it. This is the front panel of the box. This is what your pattern paper is going to be. I didn't want to try and get these half crescent moons perfectly cut on every single one of them by hand. So I decided to just create a cut file that I could use to cut out my pattern papers and then just adhere them. This flap will tuck into your box when you put your box together. So we are going to start with the rectangle tool and we are going to start in the corner and just draw a rectangle to the same size that Laurie has her box. Okay, so we have our little red box right here. And so that it's easier for you to see, again, I am going to go to my line thickness and make this line bigger so that you can see it. So we want to put it right over the lines that Lori created so we know what we're working with. And now that we have our rectangle, we can slide this off to the side. We're going to go back to Lori's file and click on it. And then we're going to right click and click ungroup and then click on the little circle right click again click duplicate click on it I'm going to change the color for you so you can see what I'm doing here and we're going to move this over to the side for the moment and now we're going to click on this set of dashed lines right here. Right click again. Click duplicate. This also makes it easier so that you can see when you're working with copying the size of the file when you go to put it all back together. We're going to change the color to this to red. Now we're going to have the dotted lines. We're going to move this over for a minute. Draw a bounding box back around Laurie's file. Right click. Click group. And now her file is in one piece again. We can go back over and start assembling our pieces on top of the black lines. Bring your rectangle over. And then 
to click on hers and click send to back so that our red lines are prominent. Just line it up as best you can. Take your circle, place it on top of her circle. Grab your dotted lines, place them on her dotted lines. It's really very simple. Then just click her box to move it out of the way. Make another bounding box so you get all three pieces together. You can see the bounding boxes around all three. Right click again, click group. You now have one piece. Right click again. Click copy, go up and create a new file, right click again, click paste, right click again, and duplicate as many times as you need and then you can cut your patterned papers out of this little file and you're not wasting all that extra paper. I hope this gave you some idea on how to get the front of the box done. I'll see you around the blog. Thanks for watching. Bye. For more information, please visit us at ablognamehero.blogspot.com.